Good evening, I'm Fatteries, and today I'm here to present you a little, uh, StarCraft 2. Uh, I am the Protoss you're viewing right now, made a little screw up in, uh, splitting my probes, I think I did. I'm not sure if I caught that, I could rewind, but oh well. Um, uh, this is a online, just multiplayer free for all, not ranked. Uh, we got a Terran player down here, Maverick. And a Zerg player down here, Rocket Sauce. I don't know any of these people, you just get matched up and you can see the chat there. And we got another Terran over here, Artemis. Now, uh, obviously you can see them all now because I'm viewing a replay. This is a post game. This is not live. I am the uh, Protoss here and I am sucking. This game I did not do well at all. I'll tell you that much. A lot of my... I, I could have done a lot better with my Chrono Boosts placement of buildings. I really just grouped them all together to do a bunch of bullshit and have a little fun because that's what free for alls are all about since they're not ranked. <clears throat> Gotta drink my coffee. So uh, here I am. Uh, 24 minute, 20, 25 minute video. But I can, I'm gonna put it on faster times too. You can see all this stuff. So I start getting my gateway around 13 supply. A bit late but oh well. Uh, part of the fun of doing this post recording is, well, one, I don't have to concentrate while playing it, too, I get to see what everybody else is doing. During the game, it was, uh, I wasn't the first to die, I can tell you that, thank god. I was actually the first to, uh, kill somebody. But here we, but, uh, what I was gonna say is that I can see the, uh, other people do their work. Like, I never got to see, uh, Matt or Rocket Sauce and this dude over here do anything, Artemis. It was, uh, just Maverick and I fighting at it. So I go down here, I got a gateway. Got a second gateway coming up. I think I get supplied block around here, I'm not sure. Got my Forge and Cybernetic score on the way. For uh, for those of you who don't play StarCraft, this is probably all sounding like, what the fuck? What is this nerd? Uh, but, oh well, hopefully you play StarCraft. I get a two zealots out just to get going in it. Cannon for defenses, just in case anybody decides to attack me. Here, Artemis scouts me. He's all like, "Oh God!" And for quite a while, Rocket Sauce here has a uh, Overlord just sitting over top that, seeing my fast expand. But uh, thankfully, I sort of rushed to get some uh, Stalkers out. Stalkers are able to attack the air, if you didn't know. So that's what I do. I plan to. I want Mass Stalker. Mass Stalker is what I definitely want this round. So I got two Stalkers at three, I think, actually. Huh, thought I had another one. And that's how it's just kind of like sitting there like, Oh, well, I can't attack you, oh well. Uh, I used to play Terran, actually. I'm a Protoss player now, I don't know. I play Terran a lot. My probe transfer's a bit off there. But then uh, one day I played Protoss and I was like, Holy shit, this is for me. Let's see what we got going here. This is the uh, resource tab, so let's get the production tab actually. So here I am, the only Protoss. Got some probes constantly on. Got a stalkers. I got a warp gate technology. Warp gate allows you to warp in units whenever you want, wherever there's a pylon. So that allows me to get units really fast. Don't have to wait a while. It's good. Down here, Mr. Uh, what is his name? Maverick. You gotta remember that. Here, he is my main opponent for the game, next door bases. He does not go right and expand, it instead goes at one base. Here I am, mooching off of my natural. Uh, during the whole game, other than the uh, ground weapons, I did not get one upgrade except for like 15 minutes later in the game. It was horrible. I was not thinking I was too busy. <laughs> and I was working off a 3 gate, I think I made it actually a 4 gate after a while in. I have a good steady income, and I start to uh, get my robotics facility out in about 10 minutes, same with my uh, Twilight Council, because I uh, completely forgot to research Blink, and here I am not paying attention, so I didn't get it as soon as I could. There we go, got it around 11. Didn't, uh... It tells you all up here, I guess. But yeah, I was going mass Blink Stalker, as you can tell, I don't have too many, I have like almost two rows, one's hurt. Did I miss that? Oh, I guess I missed it. I was uh, attacking this dude right here. Maverick, I went up and then I was like, oh shit, he's got two bunkers and mass marines. 
So at this point, you can see I'm making a war prism. Actually, it's just finished, I think. It's almost finished. And here I'm, I'm uh, mass piloning, piloning up so I can have a scouting and a... I was resource blocked. So here I've got this uh, war prism. It's sending around the map, hopefully not getting caught. I actually go right up here. And uh, war prism, what it does is it basically creates a pile on energy. With my warp gate, I can just warp units right there. So with my four stalkers, I go in there and pressure him a bit. Uh, so he's making Vikings right here. He comes in. I tried to kill off the starboard, I failed. I knew at this point, I was like, okay, I gotta pull out. Got my warp prism right out of there. So he's like, oh, what happened? In the uh, meantime, I've been getting stalkers. Massing up. Guess these guys are pushing out. Look at that. Mass roaches. He was my downfall. If you don't know, roaches beat stalkers. Unless you have a good uh, micro, which I don't. There's a macro. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between the two. So here I mess up royally. I mean, oh, I think it was here. I sent my observer in. I meant to uh, just wait, blink my stalkers up there, get some attack and blink them out, but I accidentally misclicked. And uh, they started walking up there, so I was like, oh shit. Whoops. So I gotta send them back here. I'm like, oh, why is my observer coming back here? God dang it, do I suck or something? Meantime, my war prism's just standing up here. So I start a mass my army again. And uh, if we look at the resources tab again, I think it's... Yeah, if you look at this, uh, look at my uh, 3,000 minerals, almost 1,500 gas. Going really well. So here we go for a second attack, actually. But then, uh, siege tanks, those bastards. He's all, like, siege tanking up. So I'm thinking, what are some possibilities? What can I do? He's got his front bait, or his front covered. I mean, sure, I could probably push through after a while, but... I was like, hmm, what if I can warp some units in here? So I bring my warp prism back. I get four. I come back, start attacking. And as, as in a distraction, of course, he sends all his units over. Well, a lot. It's distracted him. So I go push through his front door, and start attacking. And I get the hell out of there. But, of course, I'm not done. So he thinks, oh, what the hell, what a douche. I've got one stalker in here, actually. Dies, but I killed the siege tank. And while they're fighting this off, I blink right back up here with my uh, main. Focus that uh, siege tank down, because it's a nuisance. And I kill off his army. Uh, pretty wise play, I think. You know, it's one of my better ones. And he uh, just leaves the game, so I'm like, ah, screw doing that. And at this point, it's pretty much my downfall. I started amassing uh, stalkers again, because my army dwindled. Uh, I think I take my war prism out of there eventually. I don't know. My income's really high. 4,000 minerals, 2,000 gas. I'm not really spending that well. And with four gates, it's to be expected. I'm only able to make four units at a time, so I think it's right here I make the pylon again. Yeah, I start making pylons all around the map again. And here I mass gateway it up. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 gateways plus the 4. I got 13. And I took his natural down here because I was like, okay, it's time to get a third base. And uh, here these guys are doing their stuff. Uh, yeah, apparently he's being attacked. Look at that army. I am not suspecting a thing. Mass hydras and roaches. These guys are down here. Uh, he keeps going after him. I guess they had a uh, fight. He was over here sometime, completely lost. Uh, see, I noticed this creep around here. He's coming to the end of the game. I'm like, oh, what's that creep think it's doing? I better go observe it up. You know, I can make 13 stalkers at any time. And here's where it gets dicey. I get my 13 stalkers in there. I got a mass of, like, 32. All of that. Epic fight. And I'm here thinking, oh, God, those are roaches. I got to get the fudge out of here. And that's not going to help. I warp in 13 as soon as possible. And I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, what do, what do? I'm screwed, I'm screwed. And then he breaks through. But I, can, I still have my warp gates, and I'm like, this battle is not over yet. I get more stalkers in here. I try and, try and do something. Try and push him back. But with all those hydras and roaches he has left, that's not going to happen. Especially with stalkers. And he's got a bunch of overseers too, so... No invisible units for me, no Dark Templar. And it's up to this point, I'm like, okay, I'm fucked. No point in me trying to fight anymore. So I GG and get the hell out of there. And he has like, look at that, three full rows over two. Four full rows and two roaches just to destroy me with. 
Well, it was not a good game. I look at that. I had a bunch of probes. I didn't even just left that in there. Didn't have good production going on. I didn't even get like good upgrades until near the end of the game. Yeah, I'm surprised I even beat this guy. Although I did have good tactics against him, but yeah, it, it wasn't the worst. But could definitely pull better. But he definitely had the advantage over here. So this is Fatteries. Hopefully, I can get some more StarCraft 2 videos later in the future if you guys enjoy them. So till then, I'll see you guys later.